Good afternoon and welcome to BBL Network. I'm your host TJ and this is Eli and this is Daniel and they're going to be debating about what exactly? We're going to be debating if Josh Allen should win MVP. All right who's going to start the debate? So I think I personally think Josh Allen should not win MVP just because he's had so much interceptions and he's declined the pat this year he's declined tremendously and I don't think he's a player he once used to be. Now, I believe week. that Josh Allen will win MVP because I feel like he has never had an amazing running back and defenses have never been prepared for the fact that the Bills can run the ball. And now that they have an amazing running back in James Cook, Josh Allen's going to take advantage of that. Less pressure's going to be on him. He's going to be able to sh truly show his true talent throwing and running the ball. I mean, I, I'm, not agree I'm not disagreeing with you that the, the Buffalo Bills did not have great running backs with Josh Allen, and this is going to be the first year they, they are going to have one. But it's also like you got to take accountability because... <laughs> Okay, stop laughing. Because Josh Allen, like, like a whole, the whole, the main, the main use for a quarterback is to throw the ball, right? And if, and if you're making excuses for him not being able to throw the ball at a high level, then like you can't do that because he has to throw a ball at a high level. He's an NFL quarterback who gets paid tens of millions of dollars every single season. You said Josh Allen can't throw the ball effectively, and he obviously can. He puts amazing stats every single year, and he's proved. Wait, you just, you just said he can't? He, I he, said he can. No, you I said you said he can't throw the ball effectively, yeah. but he can. Uh, okay, that's not what you said. But he, he can? I mean, he can throw the ball effectively, but it's, it's been shown that he's thrown a lot of interceptions, right? Well, this, yeah, this he season? has thrown interceptions, but I believe that with the uh, firing of Ken Dorsey and... Um, with the new hiring of the new offensive coordinator, I believe that the new, um, the old playbook used to be focused in a way where they were relying on him to throw the ball downfield like a lot of times a game and not rely on the running game because they didn't have a good running back. Now with the new scheme and offensive coordinator, it's gonna be more set where with more of a balance of run and pass. So it's not gonna be all on him. And I think that's gonna allow him to exceed um, and become a better passer and runner. Yeah, I think I agree with that. Um, I mean, I, I do agree. I do agree with that. <laughs> you do agree to uh, but, some Okay, degree. so I, I do agree to some degree, but it's but it's also like you gotta throw like his Josh Allen's throwing abilities. Like it's because of him. It's not because of the offensive coordinator. Like maybe that is a part of it, but it, like the blame has to fall on him. Like some of it at least. So. Well, yeah, I do believe that um, he has been throwing some interceptions, but I believe that as the new scheme, the numbers will go down, and it's still, he does throw a couple too many interceptions, but I believe that he can be so good of a player, and his stats can be so good that it's almost not even going to matter because he's going to be such an effective leader on and off the field that he's going to like be enough of a presence to like win that MVP award. Do you have anything else to say? No. All right. So that's it for our argument. Um, this is BBL News. <laughs> We're gone.